very much not to make it a nostalgia fest of the 70s. We didn't want it to be sort of big wigs and uh, crazy outfits. Sometimes when we look at 70s stuff, it can be too colourful or colours too big and it's the mixture of everything, big colours, patterns, bright colours, is a, just distracting. So this really quite serious story can be kind of knocked off a bit if if it's too overly 70s. The first port of call was actually looking at the documentary footage because it was very, it has been very well documented um, by newspapers and there's lots of YouTube footage about it. Oh, here we are. Nice one of you, Janet. Oh, look at you. Fair to eat your heart out. <laughs> We know she's been wonderful, Pam, the designer. In fact, she's she's managed to find things in the end that really do seem to sort of suit us all, except they are just hideous. Most of the time, I mean, it can only be described as <laughs> dowdy tweeds. Yeah, it's not a great look. And the guys are even worse, aren't they, with these long, pointy collars. I'm wearing a smart suit. I don't know whether I can advertise it. Let's have a look. John Collier. John Collier, John Collier, the window to watch. That was the advert. I even remember the jingle. I mean, the thing is, nobody better smoke anywhere near this cast because we'd all go up like fireworks. Doris, old chum, I brought your specs. I wasn't sure you could manage without them. Tim was trying to walk. Tim was trying to clean his glasses, and he couldn't. There was all nothing natural on his body. It was all sort of sliming around. Him. These wonderful costumes. Some have been handmade by the costume team, and they're fantastic. Some of them are just completely vintage. Hardly any will be from a charity shop. Most charity shops don't sell 70s stuff. We fit actors and costume hire companies and then we, the, what's missing we'll make. Yeah, so it was a, it's a bit of a mixture. Well, something's come up. Oh, you have to go then, Morris. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, of course. Yeah. Yeah.